What's up, GQ? It's Mikkel Bridges here, and these are my essentials. I'm a pretty simple dude. You know, you wear forces, they go with anything. I was looking for a black pair, so I got the Tiffany's. These probably the two, out, two shoes I probably wear the most. You wearing all black pair of forces is, is kind of crazy. It's just big demon time, and all black is, I don't even feel, feel comfortable wearing them. I don't even feel right wearing them. I got this bag in the finals when I was with Phoenix years ago. You see the NBA, you see the logo. You can't just go buy it, you know? You gotta be in the finals to get this bag. So everybody sees it, it's like, where'd you get it from? And everybody make jokes, say, oh, you got money, you bought this. I'm like, oh no, it's free, it's free 99. I always remember that year. It's not every day where you make it to the finals and that experience was really dope for me. Obviously we didn't win, but yeah, like I said, I just keep everything in here. I hate having things in my pockets. Keep my keys in here. Usually I have my brush and everything else in here. Got deodorant in here. Got a spare iPhone charger. Maybe I need it, like maybe I need it. Got my comb, got chapstick, Aquaphor. That's pretty much it. Thanks. Some Bose headphones. Probably one of the best headphones I've had just with noise cancellation. It makes life easier. If I go to my music, I'm, I'm all different types of genres. It's actually hilarious because my mom thinks I got a lot of old soul in me that she didn't know. My music before game is probably pretty much all calm music. Some people like being all hyped up and all that stuff. I'm more relaxed because I know when the game starts, I'm gonna be all teed up. Even when I play Drake, I play a lot of his slow music before the games. Like I got some Brent Fiaz that I play before the game that I love. I got some Amy Winehouse in here. Some Young Thug in there. Kim, one of my favorite songs that I play all the time, Love Calls, Fire. And The Woman's Work by Katie Bush and then Maxwell. So I play those and that's kind of like really, really calm. But for some reason it just gets me in the right state and gets me ready for the game. All right, next item, my Poga. This travel monitor that you put your game system in. Let me give you a little sneak peek. Simple though, it's simple. You got the PS5 in here, got the monitor right here. There's one cord, just plug it in a wall, and it turns right on, it's that simple. I like my video game, my game. Me and my boys play Madden a lot. Just having this on the road is a much needed thing. Put my teammates on, cut my teammates on the, to where now they, they got their little pogas. Everybody in the league loves playing the game, so let's make it easier for them to travel. Up next is my dog, my boy Sonny. Eight years old, lab and like golden mix. A goofy dude, but he really chills. He's a, he's a good dog, man. Just having my dog with me and just coming back home, either it's a good or bad game. I always see him, I know he's always happy, so it's just, that's my boy. He's very socially awkward. And if you kind of know me, I'm low key the same. I can be kind of awkward a little bit. I think the life that I live, kind of puts you in this little bubble. Like I'm outgoing, but I can also be to myself and I can get socially awkward sometimes. That's what I love about him. But he loves being around other dogs. Like he loves being around them. Like he'll pull me or like see another dog, he'd be so hyped. But then like when I like let him off the leash, he's around these dogs, he doesn't know how to play. You know what I'm saying? And he just starts barking just in their face. Some of these dogs are just like, bro, like, like back up. Yo, you're not gonna get no friends just barking at him, bro. Like you gotta, approach him a different way. So I don't know what his issue is with that, but I'm trying to help him. So I, I keep bringing him parks and stuff and you know, let go of that little awkwardness, but I think it's him. I think that's just who he is. I think I just gotta more embrace it than try and change him, you know? So I got my watches. I got two Rollies. I got one on now. So they call this basically the Batman. I think it's a Jubilee band. Hope my agent don't get mad because I know he'd be upset if I say the wrong band. So I think it's technically called the Batgirl now just because of the band and switch. Dope, tells the time. This is my first one. This is called the Date Eight, and I love it. Just green face. It's a different band because I wanted, like if I had two different watches, I wanted two different bands so it could be a little different. A little bit heavier, but this one's probably is a the more everyday watch. This is probably my favorite one, and you see the nice rolly look at it, and people that know watches will know, like, oh, that's a, a dope-ass watch. Chipotle, I need this every day, and it's been about how many years since I've been eating Chipotle? Since 2013, 14, so about 10 years. Still been on a heavy to this day. I have friends and family that teases me a little bit about it. It's too fire to not have it every single time, so they don't disappoint. I'd love to take a bite. Okay. 
fire. So my bowl order, I get white rice, no beans, double chicken, medium and mild salsa, corn and lettuce. Oh, I used to get the hot salsa. I don't know if y'all know that hot salsa. I don't know what they did to it in this past couple years, but I'll just take one bite. I'll just be like, just chugging water and it still ain't helping. It'll just be like painful eating a bowl. You know, I felt soft because I love spicy food and I'm just like, bro, I've been eating this hot sauce for all these years. Rest a piece of the hot salsa. All right, next, we got the Hypervolt. This is for recovery. Just a little thing to have at home. Just a little device to have if I'm freaking hurting at night or something like that. I always have this just for like 10, 15 minutes if there's one spot that's like aggravate me a little bit. I just keep it on me and um, keep me right. I don't have great vision. I take my contacts out at night when I'm laying in bed and usually the TV is very far away from my bed so I can't really see. So now I got my iPad is right there. Keep it next to me when I'm in bed. Watch whatever I need and go right to sleep. I've been lacking on movies and TV shows lately. So I'm like either watching basketball or I'm on Twitch or something. On Twitch was RDC, they're hilarious. Swag, face swag, he moved to YouTube. So I like, I watch him on YouTube on the app. My guy Exposed, his name's Cody, he gambles. And you know, I, like, I gamble a little bit on football and stuff like that. Hilarious, hilarious content. Ah, all right, got my heavy ball right here. Handle life, very, 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 very important. Just using it when I warm up and practice in the games, just gets my handle tighter, my jump shot faster, smoother, it does wonders. It's, oh, I love New York. I love living in New York, being in New York, playing in New York. I wanted to get drafted in New York when I was coming out in pre-draft because I wanted to live in the city. So it's kind of dope that I am now. But yeah, it's just, it's real cool. My dog loves it. Walk him every day. He sees a lot of, a lot of people, it just makes his day too. So it's, it's definitely great. Thank you, GQ. Thank you, everybody, for watching. These are my essentials. Hopefully, I see you guys at the next game.